Hi, I'm Jim Colt from Hypertherm. Uh, Hypertherm manufactures plasma cutting equipment uh, out of New Hampshire. Uh, I'm standing here today at uh, Harper College in Palatine, Illinois in their uh, uh, metal fabrication lab. Uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about choosing the right size plasma cutter for whatever application you want to use them for. Uh, we've got a few, we've got three different models here. It's not, but definitely not all that's available, but this is a 45 amp unit, a 65 amp unit, and a 105 amp unit. Um, and so we'll kind of talk about why we have so many, there's, there's actually larger units and smaller units available as well as another one in between on these units. So a uh, uh, lot, of, lot of different choices. Obviously the bigger ones cost a little bit more. They cut thicker material. And when you get into thinner material, interestingly, they all cut the same. You can turn every one of them down to about the same power level and cut thin material. Uh, but what we really want to talk about is uh, you know, making sure that you have the right one for the application so you don't have to overbuy. Uh, keep in mind that each one of these units also can be used uh, with either a handheld torch for hand cutting or with a machine torch for cutting on a CNC cutting table like one that's sitting uh, kind of behind us over here. Uh, anyway, the, the, the ratings on each one of these plasma cutters have, are, are rated for uh, uh, three different ratings really. One is uh, what we call the uh, production rating. Uh, and so a 45 amp plasma cutting system typically will have a production rating of somewhere around one half inch. Uh, a 65 amp like this one here will have a production rating of five eighths of an inch. And a 105 amp unit will have a production rating of, uh, of uh, seven eighths of an inch, just under an inch. Uh, what the production rating actually means in this business is uh, the ability of the machine to Pierce. Let's say that you have it mount, the torch mounted firmly on a CNC cutting table and you're cutting a bunch of half inch material. Uh, the torch has to stay right in place and pierce every time before it starts cutting. Uh, with a 45 amp plasma, if you pierce much thicker than about half inch, uh, then you're going to cause some damage to the consumables and wear them out inside the plasma torch. Uh, so the pierce rating and the production rating are essentially the same thing. Uh, then there's a, uh, there's a, a, a severance rating on every one of the machines and that's the maximum thickness that, that you could actually drop cut if you start on the edge of a plate with a hand torch or in a machine application. And generally uh, the production rating and the severance rating are, the, the, the production rating is about half of the severance rating. So on a half inch machine typically expect to be able to drop cut a piece of one inch steel on a, one that's rated for five eighths inch, uh, expect one and a quarter inch steel and consequently on seven eighths inch, you know, multiply that number by two and you're gonna get the, the, the severance rating on, on the plasma cutter. So they all do have different capabilities. There's really no reason to buy one that's larger than you need unless you think you're gonna have thicker materials to cut in the future. And keep in mind, larger costs more, gets a little bit heavier. Uh, and uh, this, this 105 amp unit, because of the power level, has to run on three phase power where everything below the 105 can run on single phase power. So if you have to use it in a home operation, you're probably not gonna have three phase power available. So, um, but once again, I think I mentioned it already, when you do cut thinner material, this 105 amp unit can cut the same thin material as this 45 amp unit can. Uh, it actually uses the same consumable parts uh, and the same power level. So uh, they're equal on thin material. Uh, their limitations come when you get up in the upper end thickness on materials.